Hey everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, learning DSLRvideo.com. My wife's been complaining about our computer kind of running slow. Our computer's a laptop, and we have a docked with a keyboard and a monitor. And what we do is we undock it and we take it with us on vacation. But what happens when we take it on vacation is she tries to type on the keyboard and she hates it. She gets frustrated and it's, you know, the computer's getting slow and she wants a new one. So we headed down to Costco and I said, all right, before we buy another one, try all of them and make sure you like the keyboard. And I was kind of hoping she was gonna get one with an i7 processor and we we're gonna get a Nvidia graphics card and I would be able to do some editing, video editing when we're on vacation. But she ended up picking the absolute cheapest one, almost the cheapest one, it was a $480 Acer computer. It's the Acer Aspire 5560SB53. So when we got it home, I was like, oh, this will be great for her typing when we're on vacation, but I'm probably not gonna be able to use Premiere Pro on this thing. So I downloaded the CS5 trial version on here just to try it before we went on vacation, and I was amazed. I was surprised it actually worked. Now that being said, you really can't scrub through the video very well like you can on my desktop, which has got like 12 gig of RAM and, and works really well, and it's got a nice graphic card. And also, after about 45 minutes of editing, you can feel this, the computer slowing down and, and, and it'll crash. And what I've got better at learning is like when the signals of when it's starting to slow down and I'll like, okay, I know it's gonna crash, I'll reboot and I'll start up again and then you get another 45 minutes out of it. So I'd say this is kind of like the bare minimum of computer that you could actually use to edit your videos with. So what are the specs of this computer? I'm running Windows 7 64-bit. It's got an AMD quad-core A6-3400M processor. It's got an AMD Radeon HD 6520G graphics card, 6 gig of DDR3 memory, a 500 gig hard drive, and a 15.6 HD LED LCD screen. And I think as pretty much all of you guys know is when you use a laptop like this and you tilt the screen five degrees either way, you're gonna notice that the, you know, the levels, the contrast, a lot of different things change just if you just move the screen just a little bit. So you gotta like pretty much lock your head on the computer and not move it while you're editing. I don't know how many of you know, but I used to be a Sony Vegas user for many years and I switched I think about a year ago. Well, Sony, Pro 11 just came out a couple days ago. So I threw it on this laptop and was like, let's give it a try, see how well it does. Um, and I was actually surprised. Um, again, I don't, I, I've, I got many hours of Premiere Pro on this thing and it works pretty good. You know, you can do simple projects with it. But Sony Vegas Pro 11 on this thing actually can scrub better than Premiere Pro does. So I'm gonna definitely have to look at that more. I've just, I've only spent just a small amount of time with Vegas on this thing. So I get lots of questions from people saying, Dave, you know, Sony Vegas or Premiere Pro doesn't work on my old foyer laptop or computer, why not? And you know, I hate to tell them, but usually the best answer is, well, you need to go out and buy a new computer. So I thought this would be a helpful, I mean, for $480, this laptop will, it's kind of a minimum. I mean, like I said, it does have its issues. It'll probably crash on you every once in a while, but you can get a simple project done. And it's kind of one of those things like, get your foot in the door and start editing and like, is this something I wanna do? And then, you know, as you get more money, you can work your way up to maybe a, a desktop that has like 12 gig or 24 gig of RAM and can has SSDs and a whole bunch of other stuff. But for right now, if you're just getting started, this might be something to try. All right, I'll talk to you guys later, bye.